thank you for agreeing on this interview. So I would like to ask you, Professor Akinori, our members will be interested to hear about your experiences mm -hmm. and challenges in IEEE volunteering a lot. So what you can say about Yeah, thank you very much for this opportunity. Yeah, I was uh, first involved uh, in uh, Region 10 Committee in 1995 uh, as uh, one of uh, my senior professor uh, asked me to take over his role as uh, Student Activities Committee Chair of Region 10. And uh, well, at that time I was not sure if I can do that, but uh, yeah, as a member of uh, Region 10 Executive Committee, I was lucky to have many friends and uh, all uh, those uh, people helped me to pursue my, my role as uh, Student Activities Committee Chair. And also, yeah, not only I could uh, communicate with uh, uh, people from other regions, so uh, this networking is is uh, very important for me and uh, I learned a lot so I think I was lucky to ha to have had uh, that opportunity and uh, so since then well I, I have been continuing as a volunteer I should be volunteer and uh, now I'm enjoying this role <laughs> and uh, finally uh, I was uh, lucky enough to become a uh, Region 10 Director. Well, it, it was a heavy uh, duty, but uh, uh, I, I, I also enjoyed that role. And uh, now, now uh, I think I, I can contribute more uh, to uh, Region 10 and, and uh, uh, I2P as a whole. What are the opportunities and challenges mm. members in Region 10 could mm. expect from the Region Realignment? Yeah, uh, re Region Realignment discussion started in 2018 <laughs> because Regions uh, 8 and 10 became too big and re especially Region 10, uh, about 150,000 members which is more than 30% of the total membership. And uh, you just calculate uh, 10 regions, then uh, each region should have 10% of, of members, but uh, uh, we are three times uh, bigger. So it is uh, natural to split uh, this big region into two or three. But uh, we have been doing very well in, in Region 10. Uh, we have uh, uh, many kinds of diversities. Uh, we enjoy this diversity uh, to run our region. So we, we, we have been happy, but uh, to have uh, better diversity at the board level, uh, we need uh, region realignment to split Region 10 into two at this moment. And uh, finally, uh, from January 1st of 2028, Region 10 will split into two, North Asia and South Asia and Pacific. But uh, this uh, separation, uh, the, the new border is difficult to, <laughs> to, uh, to fix. Well, actually, uh, we, we uh, wanted to uh, collaborate with uh, especially Southeast Asia or, or uh, Pacific uh, countries but uh, you know uh, we have uh, two big countries China and India so they have to be separated but uh, if uh, we combine China with uh, with uh, surrounding countries like uh, Korea, Japan, Taiwan, uh, Hong Kong, Macau, and uh, Mongolia, then it is more than half. So uh, we have no way <laughs> uh, to add some more countries. So, so, so that's why uh, the current separation was determined.
but uh, yeah, since we enjoy this uh, diversity, uh, we will continue working together to have uh, many events uh, together, like uh, uh, flagship conferences, SYWL Congress, and so on. So uh, yeah, we will continue to be friends, of course, and, and uh, family uh, to enjoy uh, working together. So uh, I hope uh, this uh, realignment uh, will be good for everybody in Region 10. And uh, if uh, we have uh, more members, I, I mean, uh, uh, membership is increasing, we may have to consider further realignment <laughs> in the near future, but uh, I hope uh, we will have a good solution uh, to manage uh, that realignment.